Have you ever wanted to smell like a buttery, flaky, freshly baked pretzel? by Auntie Anne's. I had no idea that this fragrance even existed, and if it weren't for Pinot Sylvester Original, not the fragrance, the person who has a picture of the fragrance and the username. <laughs> I just love that. But if it weren't for Pinot, I never would have even known that this fragrance existed. This was going to be a limited release item, so if you showed up to the Auntie Anne's event over in New York City, I wanna say on the 13th or so, then you would actually get the chance to get one of these fragrances in person, and within a about five to six minutes after they released the online release, it completely sold out. I really wanted to get the 100 ml bottle, but I managed to only snag this one ounce bottle and these are going online for insane prices, like 160, 100, $200, it is madness. But is this fragrance just a cash grab or is it actually some freshly bottled magic in this little fragrance here? If you wanna find out, stick around, make yourself comfortable and let's jump right in. Welcome to the channel, everyone. It's so good to have you. If you're a regular, thank you for tuning in again. And if you were new or if you got this video recommended to you, it was fate. So smash that subscribe button so you can get more fragrance-related content from yours truly. But this fragrance definitely caught me by surprise. This is Need by Auntie Anne's. And on the back, it even says, the irresistible scent of warm, buttery, freshly baked Auntie Anne's pretzels bottled just for you. I don't know about you, but that made me hungry. So pretty plain packaging but the bottle itself is also pretty plain. <laughs> so on the front of the bottle it says need eau de pretzel. This is an EDP. It's an eau de pretzel. So sick. So this is a very plain tall one ounce bottle and if you're thinking to yourself this bottle actually looks quite familiar it's because it is and I remember when I was looking at this I was thinking I swear I've seen this packaging before and if you actually look closer on the back of the box, it even says it's distributed by Demeter Inc. So Demeter makes some really interesting fragrances that basically capture just totally random things. They're kind of just surrounding like individual notes. This one is one of my favorites. It's Thunderstorm. They also have an Oud one that doesn't really smell like Oud. It smells more like apple pie, but I digress. They make some really cool artistic, just indie fragrances for a really good price. This little one ounce bottle retailed for $25 and the 100 ml bottle retailed for about $45. So not a horrible deal for a limited release like this fragrance, but today we're gonna see, is it worth it? And does it smell as good as they say it is? I'm gonna do a little atomizer check. Oh shit. <coughs> Forgot how strong these puffs were. I had my fan on and it literally just blew it straight into my eyes. <sighs> Smooth. Oh my God. So to me, this straight up smells like a fall dessert candle. When you first smell it, you definitely get a blast of that sweet and salty dough. It almost is like a cookie dough vibe. So not necessarily that, you know, pretzel dough. It's not very yeasty. It's definitely more sweet, caramel and vanilla heavy. And it definitely kind of has more of a feminine vibe. So if you like those really nice, fancy, sweet Bath and Body Works scrubs or candles, that's kind of what I get from this. But again, that spice, the caramel and all also, some of that buttery lactonic goodness does come out in the opening. And I gotta say, it smells pretty dang good. It's definitely not the most realistic smelling fragrance. It's very sweet and gourmand, but again, with a fragrance copying, you know, pretzels and something imaginative like this, I don't necessarily expect it to be. It almost has like a honey-like sweetness, like a cinnamon sugar vibe. So it kind of smells like a cinnamon sugar pretzel at the mall. So that's what I'm getting out of this one. Yeah, on skin, especially in the opening, it kind of has that honey graham, just graham cracker dipped in milk vibe because it's lactonic, it's sweet, and it just kind of reminds me of my childhood. But again, as this dries down, it definitely becomes a lot more salty and you have some more of that buttery goodness and it starts to resemble a pretzel a lot more. So whereas you have the kind of toasted nuts and that kind of smell in the mall, as it transitions into the dry down, it smells more like a pretzel. The really interesting thing though, is after about that hour or so, it transitions a little bit and it has a funky floral vibe. I don't know what it is in this fragrance. Maybe it has to sit for a little bit, but at least to my nose, it kind of smells a little bit soapy. 
yeah, that opening is just so sweet and it's almost like you want to just drink or eat this stuff. But yeah, in the dry down, it definitely has more of a powdery, slightly floral, soapy tone. If you don't stick your nose directly up to your skin, if you're walking by somebody, I don't think you're going to get that because if you just kind of blow it in your direction, you just get more of that salty kind of buttery vibe. So the performance on this stuff is pretty interesting because after about 30 minutes, it definitely sits close to your skin. It does push off quite a bit in those 30 minutes but after that 30 minutes it really sits close to you and you have to just shove your nose up to it and you have to get really close to somebody for them to notice it however the longevity is very very strange with this stuff because i could smell this 12 hours later with some of that slightly soapy powdery vibe and a little bit of that salted kind of butter vibe so it's very very faint but you could still smell it quite a bit and i know some fragrances when they die off or you know you talk about the longevity it's basically until you can no longer smell it that's kind of how i judge the fragrances so for a lot of fragrances eight hours or so i don't smell it anymore but this I could smell it over 12 hours later but again it was very subtle and it was more of a skin scent but you could still smell it so really terrible performance but really good longevity so this is just a weird fragrance now somebody had actually mentioned that if you layer this with Amber Crumbie and Fitch Fierce, you're gonna smell exactly like them all because you have that pretzel vibe and you also have the Fierce that they just blast through their store and it just kind of leaks out of the storefront. But I did layer those two and it smells like them all. You're gonna smell like them all if you have these two fragrances. That is so, so trippy. So if you were curious about this fragrance, yes, it definitely does smell similar to the pretzels, especially about that 30 minutes or so in, in the opening. It doesn't really smell 100% like it. It just smells sweet, kind of salty and buttery. Now, would I go out and buy the resale value of this for like $200, $300 for the 100 ml bottle? Hell no, I would not buy that. You can basically get a similar scent profile funny enough from the fragrance that I just talked about. If you get the Demeter Oud, I think that smells very similar because it's sweet. It's like a caramel woody vibe. And I feel like if you have something else that's a little bit lactonic or a little bit salty, I feel like if you layer that with this, you can definitely get something very close. But I think if you manage to snag it for retail, then it's definitely worth the novelty. But would I wear this on myself, you know, out in public or on a date? I don't know if I necessarily want to smell like a pretzel, but I will say you will smell really sweet and gourmand, especially Especially for that first hour so maybe if you have to go somewhere and you want to smell comforting and sweet then you could probably wear this and that one is Auntie Anne's Need. So have you tried this fragrance? Let me know down in the comments and I'm actually gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away a little sample of this stuff so you can carry it with you. You can smell like warm buttery pretzel wherever you go. All you gotta do to enter is leave a comment down below your favorite gourmand fragrance and be sure to be subscribed. Good luck with the giveaway and in about a week or so, I'm gonna reply to the comment that's the winner. So you're gonna have a chance to win this very strange fragrance. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'm Eli with Common Sense. Until the next time, bye-bye. And on the back, it even says, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do a voiceover because I can't see it. I can't read it in the monitor. <laughs>